so let's start in a cross-legged position. And just close your eyes and start to settle in. Adjust a little more. Okay. Checking in. We start at the beginning of class just paying attention to our breath. So taking a big, full breath in, breath in, really expanding your belly, and then letting it out maybe with a And just repeating that again, full breath in, let it all out. And then continue doing this, filling your belly up, as you inhale and exhaling, maybe not with a sigh, but just exhaling it out. Taking the first few minutes of class to scan through your body. So I start at the top of my head and I find places where I'm holding tension and I don't even realize it because I get so busy, so caught up in the day and I don't even realize it. So like my eyes, I try to soften my eyes, my jaw, and notice my tongue. Is it pressed up against the roof of your mouth? See if you can soften. So exhale, every exhale, pick a different place in your body, softening. Maybe it's the shoulders, maybe it's fingers, wrists. Mm -hmm. So just releasing, softening. Yoga means union. And it's the union of our breath with the postures that allows us to balance the energy in our body. So when we have places that feel tight or stiff, that's just the energy that's stuck, the prana, the life force. So we're going to focus today on paying attention to our breath as we're in the motions, the movement, and the union between the breath and the postures, we're gonna balance our energy. So by the end of class, we're gonna feel really good. So nice that we're here together taking this hour just to be together, but really just to be with our breath. And then the motions that helps us kind of focus more on our breath. So each time when you do a posture, just notice your breath. And if you're not able to do these nice deep belly breaths, back out a little bit. The goal is to release tension, not create tension. So three more really big breaths, releasing with the exhalation. And then gently, I want you to find your way onto your back. So, stretching out long on your mat, arms overhead, feet stretched out. And then now when you inhale, I want you to reach through your fingers and reach through your toes. And then exhale, let it all go. Let's do that again. Inhale, really, really big stretch. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, stretch it all out. Try to fill your belly, fill your chest. Fill it as far as it goes. And then let it all out. And then the next inhalation, bring your right leg in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your right knee. Inhaling and then exhale, soften, soften your shoulders, your arms, your hands. 
Inhale again, belly pressing in against your leg. Exhale, softening, and maybe you can pull your leg in a little closer to your chest. Inhale, exhale. So take your big toe and draw some circles with it, like you have a paintbrush and you're painting a big circle in the air, but you're really just rotating your ankle and go in the opposite direction. So both directions, start warming up the ankle joint. Still doing your big belly breaths, inhaling, exhaling. One more inhale, and then exhale, release your right leg, arms come up overhead, pausing here, exhale it out. And then inhale, bring your left leg in, Pull it in towards your chest, but softening with the exhalation. Inhale, allow your belly to expand. Exhale, soften, and maybe you can pull your leg in a little closer. One more breath like that. Softening with the exhalation. And now let's do the big circles with our toe again, painting the big circle in the sky. Going in both directions. Still noticing your breath. Still trying to soften on the exhalation. Next breath in, releasing your left leg, arms come up overhead again. Exhale it all out. Inhale, I want you to bring both of your legs in now. Wrap your arms around both of your legs. So exhale. And then inhale, let your shoulders and chest come up. Tight little ball. Try to pull your chin in. Try to get as close as you can. But keep your deep breaths. So softening on the exhale, still holding it in. Let's do another breath, bring it in a little tighter, but softening on the exhale. One more inhale. This time as you exhale, shoulders are coming back down. Legs are gonna stay in, but open your arms like a T. So your palms are down though. So flip your arms over so your palms are in contact with the ground. And we're gonna inhale here. Exhale, our knees are gonna drop over to the right for gentle twist. So let them come all the way down and we'll stay here for two big breaths. So really expanding, softening as you exhale. And repeating that big inhalation, soft exhalation. So the next inhalation, legs are coming back into the center and then exhale, knees to the left. Let them come all the way down and pause there. And then two big breaths, inhale. Softening with the exhalation. One more big breath in. Soft exhalation. And then inhale your legs back to the center, pausing here. And so we're going to do the same motion, but we're not going to let our knees touch. And this time I want you to pay attention to your core. So think about your ribs connecting to your hips, almost like if they had a sandal strap and you pull down on that sandal strap to activate your core. So we're going to inhale and then exhale knees to the right, but this time don't let them touch. And then inhale back up to the center, exhale knees to the left. Don't let them touch. So keep doing that, inhaling back to the center, exhaling to the side, hovering, not touching, bringing them back to the center as you inhale, to the left as you exhale. So I'm gonna let you continue this a few more repetitions, just noticing your breath and seeing if you can keep that core active.
Let's do one more to each side. And when you've done that, just meet me back in the center, pausing here, softening as you exhale. So inhale, and then bring your hands in between your knee creases. So like you're folding over on top of your hands. Yeah. And then we're gonna just do some rock and rolls, massaging out our back. Starting to get ready, do a little bit more vigorous motion. And on the next one, come all the way up to cross-legged position in the front. Yeah. So inhale, arms come up. Exhale, left hand to right knee, a little twist. And then inhale, arms up, looking up. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, gentle twist. So we'll continue this. Pay attention to your breath. Do one more to each side. And then meet back in the middle. So change the cross of your legs. This feels a little different to do the knot side you're not used to. Hands on your knees. And then we're going to do some big circles. So start going towards the left and just rotating around. These are called Sufi grinds. And they feel really good, I think. And when you get back to the center, let's go in the other direction. And the next one, pausing back up at the top. Close your eyes and just take a big breath in and see as you exhale, can you soften your shoulders, rolling your shoulders down. So now we're gonna do some seated cat cow. So as we inhale, we're really gonna force our chest kind of forward and feel your shoulder blades connect on your back. And then exhale, we're gonna tuck and really grab onto your knees, pull your back really far back behind you and tuck your chin and then inhale come up to the front feel your chest expand looking up exhale tuck it all in use the traction to see if you can get your upper back to really reach back behind you inhale forward exhale back inhale forward Exhale back. Let's do two more. And then pausing just a neutral spine. Let's come over to regular hands and knees. We're gonna do the same cat cow, but now we're just in our tabletop position, but we're gonna add on to make this into a little flow. So start out just dropping your belly, inhaling, looking up for cow, exhaling for cat. Repeating that again, inhaling, dropping your belly, Exhaling for cat. On the next inhale, I have to move my hands just a little bit forward. 
and move my knees a little back. And I'm gonna inhale, bending my elbows, cobra. Exhaling to child. We're repeating that, come forward, inhaling to cobra. Exhaling to child. Inhaling, I'm gonna take my right arm way up in the air. Exhale, thread the needle. And I'm gonna hold this for a breath. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, I'm gonna go back down to child as I exhale. Then inhale, left arm's coming way up. Exhale, I'm threading my left arm, holding this for a breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in, moving as I exhale back to child. And then I'm going to inhale, tuck my toes, come all the way up to down dog. And let's walk this down dog. It's a first one for me. Maybe it's the first one for you. Yeah. Feel a little stiff. So one more breath in, exhale, come back down to tabletop. And we're gonna do that series again, okay? So inhale for cow, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Hands come a little bit forward, inhale for cobra, exhale, child. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Pause for the breath. Take it in. Let it out. Then transition back to child. Inhale, left arm comes up. Thread it through as you exhale. Pausing here for your breath and exhale. Inhaling back to child, pause as you exhale. And then inhale, bring it up to down dog. Now this time, if you wanna walk it out again, you can. If not, you can just see if we can hold it. So we're gonna do two breaths. One more, exhale back to tabletop. So we're gonna do that same series again, but we're gonna try to do it a little faster this time. So inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Inhale, cobra, exhale, child. Inhale, cobra, exhale, child. Inhale, right arm up, exhale, thread. Instead of holding it for a breath, we're just gonna go straight back to child. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, thread. One breath, then back to child. Inhale, come all the way up to down dog. That was great. So holding our down dog for two breaths. <sighs> And then see if you can walk your hands back to meet your feet. And we're gonna hang here in our forward fold. So walking on my toes in a little bit, so my legs are hip width apart, bending my knees just a little bit to make this feel really good, clasping opposite elbow with opposite hand. And now I'm gonna ah, let it all out. Ah. So maybe shaking your head, yes and no. See if you can release a little bit of your neck tension. <sighs> See what feels good, what feels really good for you.
Two more big, big breaths here. So see if you can really let go. Let's soften into it. And then release your hands and just start to sway a little bit back and forth. So you're dragging your fingers back and forth, keeping your head relaxed, keeping your neck long. Start to slowly stand up. So we're still swaying. As you're swaying, you're starting to stand up, but keeping your chin tucked. So your head should be the last thing when you get to the top. There we are. And at the top, keep the sway going. And if you can close your eyes, if you feel secure enough, even close your eyes. And just really let your arms go. There's nobody next to us. We're not going to hit anybody. So just let the arms go. Enjoy this feeling, freedom of motion. And then I'm going to start to slow it down, slow it down until I'm not moving anymore. But keep your eyes closed. And take a big breath in. And as you exhale, scan through your body. And maybe you notice, maybe you feel a little tingling in your fingers or at the top of your head or in your toes, where we've already, we've got this energy moving just from our floor work. We're starting to feel really good. So opening our eyes, let's find our mountain pose. So I got my big toes together. I've got my kneecaps pointing up, my quads are active, my belly, got my strap pulled between my hips and my ribs so my core is tight, tailbone tucked but not tucked too much, shoulders rolled back, and I'm smiling because it's Friday and we're doing yoga and it's fun. So let's just do a few really big breaths in, inhaling, reaching up, and then exhale, take it folding over. And then as soon as we come to the ground, bring it back up. So really keep that core active, support your back. Exhale, fold. Repeating again, inhale brings it up. Exhale, folds it over. Two more, inhale brings it up. Exhale, folds it over. Last one. Enjoy the deliciousness, take up a lot of space. Exhale, fold it over. And on the next inhalation, I'm bringing it up, but I'm gonna bring my palms together and bring them down to heart center. Exhale it all out. So you feel ready to do a few sun salutations? Yeah. Okay, so let's do a few of those. So I like to start out though, I'm gonna take my, arms and interlace them like this. So I've got my right arm on top of my left. Okay, so yeah, come to the top of your mat. So inhale, arms are coming up. Exhale, pause. Inhale, reach towards the left, pulling our right shoulder. Exhale, back to center. Then switch the cross of our arms. So inhale, arms up. Then pulling towards the right, a little stretch it out. And then back to center. So I just like to add that little part. So then unclasp your hands, reaching up with the inhalation. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, make your flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, planting your hands, stepping back to plank or come on your knees, whichever feels better. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, scoop up for cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, knees, and then tuck up your toes. Come up to down dog. Breathing in, breathing out. On the next breath in, step back up to the front of the mat. Fold over. Inhale for four, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, brings our arms all the way up. And then hands together at heart center and pause here. So let's do that one more time. So inhale, arms come all the way up. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plant your hands. Step back either to high plank or come on your knees. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, scoops up for cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, pushing back to your down dog. Exhale it out. One more big breath in and you're down dog. Exhale it out. Inhale now, stepping up to the front of the mat, folding down and forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, comes all the way up. Hands come together, bring it down to heart center. Close your eyes. Notice your breath. So a lot of times when we're doing sun salutations, our breath gets out of control. So keep the deep, even breaths. Couple more breaths here. And then let's just do one more. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale for flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, planting your hands. Step back or on your knees. Exhale, lower. Inhale, scoop up for cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, tucking our toes. Come all the way up to down dog. Exhale it out. Let's take a breath here and down dog. <sighs> On the next inhalation, stepping up to the front, folding over as you exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, comes all the way up. Hands together at heart center. Good job. That felt so good. So let's add in a few standing poses now. So we're going to start off and we're going to cross our right arm under and make eagle arms. So, and then right leg is going to go over. Let me, oh, I was going to just move this. So with your eagle leg, it's okay to keep your toe on the ground if you don't feel balanced. But if you feel a little more balanced, maybe you raise your toe up a little, squeeze those legs together, and try to sink a little lower. And holding it here. Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath in. Now exhale, can we leave our legs just like they are, but stand up, let our arms come unwound, and then, can you take your right hand onto your right knee and raise it up a little? Very good, excellent. So can you keep standing on one leg, but roll your shoulders back, relax a little, smile a little. One more breath in, exhale, leg comes down. Just kind of shake out that left leg. So let's repeat. So this time left arm comes under, right arm's on top and then left leg goes over. Again, you can keep your toe on the ground if you need to. Squeezing your legs together, can you sink a little lower? Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath in. Exhale, straightening up our torso, taking our left hand to our left knee, opening it up. Holding it here, try to relax your shoulders, relax your right arm. Breathing in, breathing out, and release. That was good, good job. Okay. So come back up to the front of the mat, I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> I like it better when you can see my face. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to you. So inhale, we're gonna take our arms way up. Exhale, we're gonna fold it over. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plant your hands, and this time just come back to hands and knees. Let's 
I'm going to adjust my camera again. And we're going to take our right foot up in between our hands. If you need to make little tents with your fingers so you can get in there, whatever feels more comfortable. So inhale here, exhale, soften, and then inhale, hands up to your knee. Exhale, soften. So we're trying for a nice stretch right in here. So sometimes people want to go even deeper. If that feels good. If not, you can back off a little too. So whatever feels good to you, we're going to really breathe into it. So let's hold this for three big breaths, sending the exhalation right in here. Maybe you're sinking a little bit more into it as you release. So now I want you to really think about your core, activate your core here. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, arms are coming up, looking up at your fingers. So it's like warrior one arms. Inhale here, maybe you even look back just a little, a little mini back bend. Exhale, soften. One more breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale, can we do a little twist? So left elbow to right knee. So twisting. Same time, maybe you can sink more into it. So sink down in your left leg a little. Three big breaths in the twist. Big breath in, comes back to the center. Exhale, we're gonna take both of our hands to the inside of our right foot. And maybe you're gonna see if you can wiggle your right foot over a little more to the edge of the mat. And then if it feels good, you can come down on your elbows. Now, if that feels too tight, don't go down on your elbows. Yeah, very nice. So breathing in, so this is lizard pose. You might also want to take your right toes and even point them more at a diagonal. See if that makes it feel any different. And try to relax your neck and your face. Sending the breath in. I feel a lot of tightness in that hip. Sending my breath in. One more really big breath, soften. And on the next inhalation, come back to the center, take your right leg back and just be in hands and knees. Let's just do one cat cow, just to kind of work any of the kinks out. And then left legs coming up into the center spot. I'm gonna inhale my hands up onto my knee. Soften as I exhale. And then we're holding this one for three breaths, seeing about sinking more into that right hip, trying to create some space with my breath, softening my shoulders. Noticing if I can keep my core active, Inhaling, arms are coming up like warrior one. Exhale, softening. And then inhale, maybe you even look back a little for a little back bend. Soften as you exhale. Hold it for one more breath. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale, add the twist. Very nice. So breathe into it, softening as you exhale. One more big breath in, softening something as you exhale. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, both hands to the inside of your foot. Walk your left foot over. Point your toes at the diagonal if you like that last time. And then take it down for lizard. Try to relax your neck. See if you can soften into that hip. 
One more breath in, exhale it out. And then on the next inhalation, come back up to tabletop and take just one cat cow to try to stretch it out. And from here, push back up into down dog again. So we're nice and warmed up now. Our down dog should feel really good. So active core i'm pushing through my hands to try to get my hips up a little higher trying to get my heels close to the ground relaxing my neck <sighs> so can you take your right leg and reach it up a little off the ground maybe a little bit more what feels good reach with the right leg back and then bring it forward in between your hands. And then we're gonna turn our back foot so it's gonna end up like a warrior two legs. And then bring our whole bodies up to warrior two. Great, so adjust your feet so it feels right, the right distance. And my shoulders are relaxed. And I'm looking out over my right fingertips. I'm bending my right knee a little more. And I'm gonna inhale with my arms straight. Let me move my camera. <laughs> Inhale here and then exhale. I'm going to straighten my right leg and raise my right, my both of my arms up and look up. And then inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, straight leg, arms up, look up. Yeah, you got it. So keep doing this. It's your breath. Trying to relax our shoulders. Maybe you're smiling. Let's do two more. And the next time your hands are up in the air and your legs straight, keep your legs straight, but lower your arms and reach out with your right finger, shoot that left hip behind you till you can't reach anymore and then fold over for triangle pose. So hand on your shin, if that feels good. Trying to open your chest to the sky. Try to relax your neck. We're gonna hold it for three big breaths. One more big breath in. Coming back up as you exhale. Bending our knee back into warrior two. Take our left hand down onto our left leg. Flip your right palm. Reach up and over for peaceful warrior. Really bend into your right knee a little bit more. Relax your shoulders. Hold it for two more breaths. One more breath in. Exhale back to warrior two. And then take your hands on your hips. Turn your hips so you're facing your front leg. Turn your back toes, your left toes, so you're up on the ball of your foot. And then place your hands down on the mat, stepping back to down dog. Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath in, let it out. So now see if we can raise our right legs up a little bit and then step them through to the front of the mat. So left leg up there in the front, placing your right heel down, coming up the warrior two. So get my alignment set first, bending my front knee, 
Relaxing my shoulders. Inhale, and then exhale, straighten your left leg, arms come up, looking up. Back to the inhale of warrior two, exhale it up. Staying with your breath. Let's just do a few more repetitions. Two more. So I'm gonna hold it with my arms up and my legs straight, then bring my arms down, but keep my legs straight, reaching out as far as you can go, and then take it over to triangle. Really feel your belly expand, breathing in, Exhale, what can we soften a little? <sighs> One more big breath in. Exhale, brings me back up, bending my front leg, warrior two. Flipping my front hand, my left leg, I mean, my right arm's going down onto my right leg, reaching up and over for peaceful warrior. Still try to bend your front leg a little. Reach out through that top right arm, my left arm. Breathing in, breathing out. One more, can you really reach for it? Then exhale back to warrior two. Hands on your hips. Inhale, turning your hips to face your front leg. Exhale, hands down to the mat. And take it back this time to child's pose. Press all the way back. Inhale. Exhale. Checking in with our breath. Softening as we exhale. Two more breaths here, enjoying this delicious feeling. And then on the next inhalation, come up. And if you can't, let's see if I can fix my camera again. Is it a comfortable for you to sit on your heels like this? But okay. Okay. So sitting on your heels, then uh, take your arms around behind you and interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, we're gonna fold it over. So arms are gonna come up in the air. And breathe into your shoulders here. And then just experiment. If it feels good to even go further forward and let your hips come up, if that feels okay, you can go all the way up to the top of your head, or you can just stay low. We're going to try to hold this for five long breaths, so go with where you can hold it. Breathing into those shoulders. One more inhalation. Exhale, comes all the way back. Releasing our arms and kind of rolling our shoulders back. So I want to do another one for our shoulders. So we're going to come down onto our belly. And you're going to take your right arm all the way out. And palm is facing down. Let me scoot it back so you can see. So palm is down. And 
And so then we're gonna take our other arm and push our arm and our leg up on the side of our body. So it's gonna look like that from the front. Oh yeah, you got it. So you feel that in the bottom shoulder, like in your right shoulder? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the more you push up on it, the more intense. So if it's too much, bring your belly and chest back towards the ground. And we'll see if we can hold this for five breaths. One more breath in. Exhale, lower back down. And just pause for a second before you even move. Just inhale. Exhale. And so swap arms. So now left arm's gonna go out and right arm's gonna plant on the ground and push up. Breathing into it. One more breath in. Exhale back to the center, pausing here before we move, just take a big breath in and let it out. So let's roll over onto our back and do a bridge pose. So I got my heels as close as I can get them to my bottom. And you can do the mini bridge, which you just lift your hips up a little bit. Or if you're feeling more into it, you can lift your hips up really as high as you can get them. And then if you're doing the full bridge, I try to tuck my shoulders up under my body and really kind of come up, push with my feet to come up on my shoulders even more. So let's see if we can hold it for five breaths. And then lowering it back down, pausing here, just taking a breath in, letting out, and let's just do one more. So whichever one you want to do, so you're doing full bridge, so bring it on up. And noticing my core, if I can pull that strap tight, that helps me push up a little higher. So try to let the height come from your core, not from pushing through your glutes and your low back. One more big breath in. Exhale, lowering it all the way. Bring your knees in and put your hands on your kneecaps. Draw circles with your hands just to massage out that low back. Go in both directions. So putting my feet back down on the ground. Big breath in, exhale, soften. Then we're gonna cross our right ankle and place it on our left knee. Yeah, just like that. So we're gonna do recline pigeon. So inhale, reach through the circle and maybe grab behind the back of your left thigh or in front of your left shin, depending on your openness in those hips. 
So finding the pose where you can hold it, because for this to really be effective, you gotta stay with it. So let's breathe into the tightness in our hips, softening as you exhale. Remember, it's supposed to feel good. You don't have to go to the edge of it because often that's when you tense up. And to really get released, we got to be able to relax into it. Filling up your belly as you inhale, softening with the exhale. And sometimes as I've been holding it, I start to soften and then I can even pull my left in, leg in a little bit more because I've softened. Two more breaths. See if you can soften your shoulders, your face, your jaw. And then inhaling, bringing our hands back out, uncrossing our right leg. Just kind of windshield wiper your knees from back, back and forth. Big breath in, exhale. And then let's set up and do the left side. So my right foot's planted, left ankle on right knee. Inhale, reach through, find the hand clasp where you can feel the stretch, but it's not uncomfortable. And then settle in, full belly breaths in, softening. So sometimes when I focus too much on my hip, I end up just making it more tense. So focus on a place where it's easy to let go of the tension. So where is it easy? I can, I can let go of the tension in my ankle. I was tensing up my foot. That's the easy place. My shoulders. And then as I find the easy spots, I notice, wait, my hip doesn't feel as tight. Two more breaths. And inhale, release. Planting our feet down on the mat, windshield wipe it. <laughs> so bringing our legs back to stillness, let's set up to do waterfall. So my arms are alongside my body, I'm inhaling flexing my feet, bringing my legs up, keeping my core active. So strong core keeps my legs up in the air. But at the same time, I want a strong core, but I want to still expand my belly as I inhale and soften.
Let's just take two more breaths here in our inversion. And then bending our knees, bring your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around them, and inhale here, exhale, straighten your left leg, but keep your right leg in towards your chest. Exhale. And then inhale, I'm gonna have my left hand on top of my right knee, pulling my right leg across my body to the left side. Right arms opening up like a T, palm is down. Inhale, see if you can pull with your left leg, that right leg a little bit more into the twist. And then exhale, soften everything. Couple more breaths, really filling it up as you inhale. Maybe you turn your head and look out over your right shoulder to add a little stretch for your neck. One more breath, fill up your belly, exhale it all out. And then on the next inhalation, come back to the center, bring your left knee in and let your right leg go out straight on the mat. Right hand to left knee, left arm like a T, palm is down. Inhaling, I'm pulling my left leg across my body. Exhale, soften. One more inhale to really pull that leg, pulling it down, and then softening as I exhale. Turning my head, looking out over my left shoulder, softening everything as I exhale. Take another breath, really filling it up, filling it up. Exhale it all out. And then on the next inhalation, come back to the center. Bring your arms in alongside your body and let your legs stretch out. Let your feet just flop out to the sides of the mat. Maybe your palms are faced up now. Take in another big, big breath. This time just filling up as far as you can, way up, 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 up into your collarbones even. Exhale it out with a sigh. And do that one more time. Take as big of a breath as you can. Just feel your chest expanding, taking it all the way up to your collarbones. And when you can't take in any more air, let it all out. And then I just want you to lay as still as you can, not controlling the breath anymore, just enjoying your Shavasana.
So bring your awareness back to your breath. Just notice how it's moving in and out of your body. On your next breath in, see if you can just add to it, bringing in a little bit more, letting out a little bit more. Repeating this, so each breath in is a little bit bigger than the last. Slowly noticing your breath is moving more and more of your body. Adding in some other movements, gentle fingers or toes. Maybe your head moves from side to side, but deepening your breath all the while until you're able to take in a really big full breath and roll over onto your favorite side and curl up there just for a few more delicious moments. Scanning your body, noticing how does it feel different than it did an hour ago. Allowing yourself to feel the gratitude and the appreciation that I have for you. You came today, you carved out this time you gave yourself this gift of yoga. Each day, giving yourself just a little bit of yoga, even if you can't do a full hour, it's so good for you, so good for me, for all of us. This is how we're supposed to feel. So as slowly as you can, keeping your eyes closed or gently lowered, come and sit cross-legged on the front of your mat again. And let's just take the last few minutes to sit in stillness with each other. Opening your eyes, bringing your hands together at Heart Center. Thank you for coming to play with me tonight. Namaste.